Howdy, howdy. Glad to see you. Always nice though? to see you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's hay fever. Sometimes you just, we've all been cool. really stuffed, and so we just kind of talk this way naturally now. Let me see if I can send a message. It says over there are no towels right. in the men's room. <laughs> I can oh. tell, did you actually know what you were doing, signaling like that? Yes, I did. I, I once trained in the West under uh, Chief Brown Bear. <laughs> and, uh, I thought I was, it was Running Bear. No, no, Brown Bear. <laughs> <laughs> running Bear was somebody else. Well, let's find out what we're going to do today. Little maybe. White Dove was his <laughs> honey's name. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here, you read. Oh, that. thank you. The witch has arrived in a goodly amount of time. Dear Mr. Bly, oh, this is to me Oh, first. good. How about that? I wasn't expecting that. You may not remember me, but I spoke to you a few weeks ago in a local bar. <laughs> you were really in your cups. It has worried me. I know Mr. Johnson's concerned about his heart. How do you feel about your liver? <laughs> By the way, could you do a meal featuring liver and some side dishes? Again, please don't have a quiver in your liver. Alice Bifo of Roanoke, Virginia. Oh, well, how about that, Alice? It's Alice. not true. It's not, <laughs> it is. Here. It's not true. But anyway, I'm going to do uh, Indian Summer Stir Fry, sent in by the unknown viewer. And I'm doing Phyllis's Liver and Macaroni. I sent in by liver. Peter and Kathy Gallucci of Clayton, New Jersey. And I don't know who Phyllis is. Lovely Doris will be in with French green bean salad. Also sent in by the unknown viewer who seems to be very busy these days. Well, let me get started because I've got so much to do here. It sure. won't take but a minute. You need I'm sorry one, to hear that I don't have much to one do. tablespoon of olive oil and two of margarine. And we'll let that heat up while I'm slicing the onions that have to be fried. And that's all anybody would need to know because I think all of you know how to slice an onion and fry it. Larry. Okay. Well, this stir-fry, what can you say? Stir-fry, stir-fry is not much exciting about it. All I'm going to be doing is the thing that the viewers in TV land hate, and that is chopping eternally. This would be 20 minutes chopping and three minutes cooking, and I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. That's the way stir-fry works. We got three carrots and four mushrooms and uh, two celeries and two zucchinis. We have... Uh, uh, a bell pepper, an onion, and about a cup of frozen corn, which is what that is right there. So now I just got to start. I've taken the uh, three uh, carrots and I've sort of sawed the edges off of them because I'm using some old ones. And the first thing you do is you, you chop up your carrots, your onion, bell pepper, as celery, and zucchini while you're heating some oil on the stove. That's what I'm doing right now. Just heat some oil. And you'll have to have a lid for this. So. What I'll do right now is, is start chopping, and I'll be with you doing this until you can't stand it anymore. The uh, carrots, by the way, are supposed to be sliced thinly. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll sort of cut them on both ends and then, and then maybe do them longwise, I reckon. Wouldn't you say that you don't have to do that? You don't think so? Just do them very thinly? Well, it says very thinly, and... Miss Doris, who holds forth in the left corner over here, is holding to the literal translation, <laughs> which is not longwise. You could if you wanted to. I think they're pretty that way. But it's an awful lot of work. Now she wants me to do both. <laughs> oh, well, you're right. I do have the time. And thank you, Doris. We will do it both ways, just to show oh. my manual dexterity. You remember him? He used yes. to work here. Old manual. Great guy. Picked peaches on the weekend. I'm happy to say we have our entire crew back today. Lovely Doris and Harold are in from Paris. And uh, Andre is in from, where'd you go, Venn? Germany. Oh, I thought you were in Venn. Uh, Germany, yeah. So uh, everybody has been overseas. And, and little returned. Mike, the sound man, is back from outer space. Uh -huh. <laughs> somewhat, somewhat. I talked to him a while ago. He's still buzzing a little bit, but, you know, it's okay. And, like Doris, you missed Miss Carol last time when she... She was fabulous. As a matter of fact, we've had such tremendous viewer response. I think that she's going to be a permanent part of the show. <laughs> Not really. We, uh, we did enjoy having her in here, and she fixed a wonderful fluffy thing that we all that ate. That frog eye salad. That frog eye salad. That did not contain a single frog eye, but it looked like it should have. 
Now, I'm going to do this one longwise, just because Doris told me I probably should, and because she also just wants to see me cut, cut myself, is what she wants to see me do. No, I'll take it very easily. Well, perhaps I will take it very easily. Take that one and do it again, and just make real thin strips. I think uh -huh. it'll be real pretty on uh, sure. a stir-fry, don't you? And why not? I mean, the so shape for is it. part of the art. Of well, you're absolutely right. Laban, do you have uh, anything to offer? Well, I, I am sauteing, better known as frying here in the South, <laughs> my uh, onions and, until they get translucent. I was now, gonna, I, I want to ask you about yes. that, right where you are. Uh -huh. uh, the term saute was never heard at my house in no, all the years that I was growing even. up. Was there something that I missed? No, we never talked uh, about it Tootsie either. If Tootsie sauteed something, she didn't mention it in public. Right. Uh, I just don't know. Well, I got my liver here. But she either fried it or boiled it. Oh, you got your liver. Yep. Oh, it's and so attractive. this has got to be cut up into bite-sized specimens. This is beef liver. I would have rather had calf liver, but you can't find it. Well, what can you do? And let me warn you, this is one of those dishes that I'm fixing because I, I personally love liver, and I can't eat it anymore because it is pure cholesterol. Chopping an onion for those who care. Oh, they saw that earlier in the Pretty show. Pretty exciting. Isn't it? <laughs> and this liver, I want to tell you, it's hard to cut because it's squishy and hard to hold on to. You know, I love chicken livers deep fried, but I really mm -hmm. don't like calves' liver. Well, it's real funny. That's one of those things that a lot of kids hate. But when I was a kid, I loved it. And this is beef liver. I'm not supposed to be doing with these things. Sliced. I'm kind of trying to read the instructions as I go along here so that I don't get chastised by Doris. Mm -hmm. She makes me so nervous. She's hovering in the corner watching my every whatever. I'm heating up my oil. Now I've got the uh, carrot and the uh, onion done. I also need to do the bell pepper, celery, and zucchini. I'll do that. Rip the innards out of it with your bare hands. Throw it in the trash can and get on with life. I'll do these in strips, little tiny strips. Well, Am I supposed to, Doris? No. Cored and cubed. Okay. Well, all right, then I won't do that either. <laughs> By heavens, she's a taskmaster or mistress, mistress or whatever. All right, then cubed. That's what I'll do. There. There's only a a little bit of difference between one and the other in my book. So that's close enough. Is that close enough, Doris? Yeah. She's happy now. She's happy. Okay. Larry, I'm going to add the liver to the onions here. All righty. I guess they're done. The onions. Mm -hmm. I wish there was something I could talk about while I'm doing this, but I'm just busy with it. Now I got to uh, do the celery and zucchini, and that should hold us for the first portion of this. Get those wicked ends off of there. Put that back on. Now what am I supposed to do with that? Sliced. I think I can handle that. Uh, that's two of those, two ribs of celery. We got ribs and livers and all oh, sorts no. of things Organ meats. here today. We'll just chop that right up. It's going to be pretty, I'll tell you that. Now, the first thing we'll have to do is saute these in a the hot oil for about three minutes covered. I guess because these are the things that take a little longer than the zucchinis and the, I mean, than the uh, mushrooms and the corn, which we will add at the last minute. We also have a couple of herbs and spices. When do they go in? Doesn't say, does it? Do you have the salt and the pepper? Salt and peppers to my left. Woo -wee. That is nice and hot, just the way it's supposed to be. And what we're going to do is we'll do the zucchini and throw it in there real quick, too. And then we're going to cover it up. And don't be afraid it's to mix a cover it up. a little bit. It's a government operation. Put that thing down just a little bit. And you slice the zucchini. Am I correct on that? Huh? Okay, I'm going to cut something right. I'm going to do them two at a time. I don't know why. We don't need to hurry this process, but I am 
getting very aggravated. But when do I add the herbs and spices? Now? Can I add it any time? <clears throat> oh, okay, we have to cook these things down a little bit first, and then we'll add them toward the end. What we're going to be adding is a little uh, garlic salt and some basil. Boy, those are frying real nicely. About three minutes, so I want to get that in there and cover it real quickly, and then that's going to be it for me. That goes in. Oh, no. Well, I mean, until I do the next thing, which will take another minute and a half. Excuse me, I got stuff all over the stove. All right. Three minutes. That's all. Now, while I'm waiting for that, uh, I also have three mushrooms, large mushrooms, four large mushrooms, and I have some frozen corn that I'll be adding into this in a couple of minutes, plus my secret herbs and spices. Okay, Mr. Johnson. Well, I'm trying real hard to open up a can of tomato paste. And I don't know why I'm having And you use half a, a can, half a six-ounce can of tomato paste. And as usual, this can opener is just fretting me to death. Uh-oh. Going on live in the studio with oh, a bad can opener is never a good it's idea. Terrible. What about all those fancy ones we've been? Of course, we couldn't get those to work yet either, could no. we? No. They required mechanical, some sort of licenses to operate. I'm taking four mushrooms and just slicing them right now. I cleaned them before we went on the air. Trust me. I've lost no customers since doing this show. It smells good, doesn't it? And here's the next tricky thing, opening this up. About a cup of frozen corn. This was frozen several hours ago. Oh. It is no longer frozen. Doesn't matter, we're gonna heat it up anyway. About a cup of that standing by. Laban. Yes. Go ahead. All right, I'm mixing in a half a can of the tomato paste in with the liver and onions, and now I've got to put in three tablespoons full of water. Oh, Lord. Oh, look at this. This is smelling great, and it is so pretty, and I've reduced the heat down to medium at this point, and it still needs Oh, a couple more minutes. Ooh, yeah, man. About two more minutes, I guess, and we'll put stuff in there. And now we have a cartoon. No, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm on the wrong show. I thought I was Uncle Bob there for a couple of minutes. Well, Remember all those cartoon shows used uh -huh. to be on TV, and it was always Captain Tug and mm -hmm. Captain So-and-So and Mr. So-and-So. Yes. It was always some local squirrely character that they trotted out in front of the camera every evening, and he very talented gentleman if he could get the name of the next cartoon out and right. get <laughs> And they were wonderful, especially as black and white. They ones. were a lot of fun. All right, now the where tomato... I learned everything that I know today. The tomato anyway. paste and the water have made a real nice gravy. Ooh, that. that's pretty. And now here's eight ounces of raw macaroni that's been cooked. So it's cooked macaroni. So it's what cooked you're and to I've say. got to drain it out. Uh-huh. So let me... Dump and now the here. draining of the macaroni, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, I was getting ready to ask for a top cube. No, I can't. I can't see you've gone blind. Oh, it's the steam on my eyeglasses. Awful. He's back there. It's not a pretty sight. It's just best that you're not watching. That's all I can say. This stuff has got about another half a minute, and we don't want it to go too long. Huh? Oh. To go. Oh, to go. <laughs> well, let's get the cook sisters Mr. Johnson, just, I thought he kicked the bucket there I for did. a minute. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Cook Sisters. I think they're coming down uh, the hall, waddling their way toward the studio. For, with Anthony. We're going to miss watching you mix all this macaroni no. in with that mess. <laughs> Here they are. Say, uh, Tootsie. Uh -huh. Tootsie. Uh -huh. Oh, look at her. Just slurp <sighs> that water down like it was wine. <sighs> you know, if you want to get maximum flavor out your vegetables uh -huh. without using a lot of heavy sauces and everything, you can Put them in the oven and roast them with just a little olive oil over them, and they have a wonderful flavor. And you can even add them to casseroles and make them even naturally better. I've never seen you this excited. Well, it is kind of a thrill to know that my potatoes and green beans are roasted. Oh, oh. That makes me feel better, I know. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook, and, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. 
They're my, uh, well, no, I, I, somebody gave one of the Cook sisters some reading glasses. All right, now, this has gone more than a little bit, more than three minutes, and at this point, what we need to do is add the chopped mushrooms. There are four big ones, or medium ones, actually. They go in there, about a cup of corn, give or take a couple of kernels, and perhaps a private or two. And at this point, we need to add our herbs and spices to this, which is a little bit of garlic salt. We're going to have uh, a teaspoon each of basil and garlic salt. It Ooh. goes in there. You know this has got to be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, my mm -hmm. macaroni and liver has really done quite well here. Well, it's real pretty, but mm -hmm. you're not fooling me because it's still liver in macaroni and uh, one good thing about it though I believe I'll be able to sort of pick around the liver <laughs> just head directly for the macaroni which never hurt anybody all right now I put the herbs and spices in there what pepper. oh pepper uh, thank you <laughs> how much pepper uh, that's not enough that's just simply not enough that's enough now, mix that all around. Do I cover it back up again, Doris? Help me here, assistant. That's it? Oh, covered. Okay. Well, that's about as much time as we have left. Do you want well, to go over the recipe? Yeah. Well, let me give my recipe here for Phyllis's liver and macaroni. A half a box of calves liver, if you can find it, or beef liver. A half a box of elbow macaroni. A half a small can. That's, three, that's a six-ounce can, three ounces of tomato paste, a small onion, two to three cans of water. Oh, I misread that. Uh, two tablespoons of uh, butter or margarine, a tablespoon of olive oil, and salt and pepper. I need more water the in The Indian here, summer stir-fry, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, three medium carrots thinly sliced. Lengthwise or longwise, doesn't matter. We don't care. Whatever you think is prettiest. One medium onion sliced, a small green bell pepper, cored and cubed, two medium stalks of celery sliced, two medium zucchini sliced, a cup of fresh or frozen whole kernel corn, four large mushrooms sliced, and a teaspoon each of basil and garlic salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And don't forget the pepper, or else Miss Doris will personally come into your home and yell at you. Okay, should I give mine? Mine was French green beans. Hi, salad. Doris. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Looks should like you work. My... Looks like Parlez vous you... Francais. <laughs> well, See? Well, the only thing I really oh, learned was spin. pardon, and that means get out of the way. We're coming through. Pardon. <laughs> and they'll knock you over. You but... look like you're wearing a large hanky today. Yeah, that's about. Uh huh. <laughs> it's real pretty. Yeah, it's... Several bandanas <laughs> really sewed together. together. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you make it yourself? No, I don't know how to sew. <gasps> if, if it doesn't have the pattern on it all, something on that Doris doesn't know other, how to do. <laughs> oh. Can't believe it. We've discovered something that I, Doris doesn't know. I tried it, and I have done it, but it takes me forever Is just to figure so? out the right. Well, that's because material. you were. <laughs> that's because you were using the microwave instead of the sewing machine. No. You've been in the kitchen too long, darling. No, I, I had a lot of trouble in the kitchen yesterday too. Things weren't turning out too. Oh no. Well. So but, what do you but make? But my, my recipe. This is it. It's what in is, a what jar. Is it? It's uh, called French Green Bean Salad, and it's um, one can of French-style green beans drained, and I also rinsed them off to try to get the yeah. canned flavor off of them. Good idea. And one half uh, medium onion finely cubed, one tablespoon vi vinegar, more or less the taste, one tablespoon vegetable oil, more or less the taste, and salt and pepper to taste, and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And you just mix it all together, put it in a jar, Put it in your refrigerator, and that's it. How long? How and long? I did it. Uh, you do it overnight. I did it uh, refrigerate overnight, and I uh, have no idea. I made it in two different ways. This is with cider vinegar. It doesn't say, you know, you, what kind of vinegar. So I thought I'd make cider with this one. Mm -hmm. And this is wine vinegar. Ooh. I use a lot of wine vinegar. Well, now, how, Italian, you know? now, how long do you think that would keep in the refrigerator? I should think a couple days. I mean, well, probably what is, a week or yeah, more. Yeah, at least. No. And, and how uh, long did it take you to do that? <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. 
Just I mean, just to oh. cut up the onion. And any, then not, not any normal mere mortal that would have taken six minutes, but for Doris, two minutes. Well, you rinse it off, dump it up a can, dump it out, cut your onion up, and put in your seasoning. That's well, Doris, good. let me ask you, did you have any good food while you were in France, um, Europe? Yeah, we went to, um, but the, the, we didn't go to too many fancy restaurants, cause the, but we went to where... The, Parisians eat and get little things and brought them back to uh -huh. the hotel. Very good. We went to see the, the Moulin Rouge. And oh. That was... Oh. I should have brought the book. <laughs> <laughs> my little granddaughter. Oh, wow. Well, well yeah, <laughs> look, look, Harold sitting back here. Still got a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were sitting in the second row where you really could see, and we moved. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I think that's probably all we need to know right. about that. And Thanks a lot, lot. And parlez uh, vous Francais. <laughs> it's great to have you back, though. It really is. Okay, well, look at this. This is gone, I guess, just about long enough. We'll let it go about another minute, but right. it is looking real pretty, don't you think? Uh-huh. And, and the why liver have I put the spoon in I don't know. But it's going to be al dente, I have a funny feeling, uh, and not overly done, right. which is good. Uh, and so what is, well, yours looks uh, real pretty. Yeah, it, and it better tastes good, too. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it knows what's it good for it. Uh-huh, I'm sure. So anyway, there we well, go. I, I think I'll ease my way over to the... Well, I think this has gone long table. enough that we can probably wander over here and give it a little bit of a try. She's still wandering around on the set. I need a... It just so happened that Doris had got me a... Is that what you're getting? Oh, okay. She had got me a brand new... Uh, uh, what is it you got me? Some kind of a thing oh, from look at this. Paris, France. And, well, look, isn't that fancy schmancy? Mm -hmm. Oh, more liver, please. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's plenty. And I'm going to try some of this. Which is this one? Is this the red wine one or the regular one? This is the cider one. Okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's a pretty dish. Look at that. Very lovely. We'll put some, uh, some of these uh, veggies in here while we're at it. This is a good meal for you, I would think. I think I would have put the stuff in a little bit earlier, uh -huh. the uh, herbs and spices, so they have a little well, more I'm time. Try the the green beans first. Well, let me try the liver. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tastes like macaroni that's been swimming in liver. For the <laughs> afternoon. Actually, the the green beans are real good, Doris. They'd probably even be great with fresh green beans. Would you like for me to actually try the liver? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's just the way I always remember it. I love why. I wonder why that is. I love chicken liver, I deep fried, but I don't like. Cow well, liver. the thing about liver is people cook it too long, and it ruins it big time. How long should you cook it? It cooks almost instantly, so you don't need to cook it but a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it's, you know, you can cut a little piece in half, and if there's pink remaining, cook it a little longer, but. That's all it takes to cook liver. And uh, this recipe called for the liver to be browned, and I said, no way, because uh, there's a lot of blood in and on liver, and I soaked the liver for a while to get a lot of it out. But if you brown it with that blood like that inside the, the meat, it'll very often give you a really bitter taste. Oh, really? So you need to watch out and keep not cook it so long. When you old country cooks that believe in cooking everything all afternoon, Mr. Johnson says don't cook your liver all afternoon. It's not good. Now let me try the stir fry. Mm. I think the stir fry turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's not a nice little delicate taste to it. Yep. I think I would have added the, the herbs and spices a little bit earlier so they go through everything. Oh, that is better. real good. Well, Doris, I like this green bean concoction. Isn't that a marvelous little simple salad? Mm-hmm. And two minutes is all it takes to do it. Well, you could do this whole thing, obviously, in less than 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, obviously. <laughs> or we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it right now. So everybody... Here, let me have some more. Oh, boy. Everybody that is so anxious for quick and easy meals, this is it today. Mm-hmm. Because we've prepared everything in real time here today. Mm-hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What? Well, this is the last show of the current season, mm -hmm. and we'll, you know, be back around next time. If people are nice and 
and the creek don't rise mm -hmm. and all the other things that can happen in life. And don't forget to send your recipes out. Yeah, absolutely. We love your recipes. And that's where we get our recipes from. Yep. And uh, people always say, where do you get them recipes from? Well, we get them from you. That's right. Mm. Well, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this. And because we had so much time left over at the end of the show, I have literally eaten dinner. Oh, goodbye. Well, I'm close. See ya. We're out of here, or theoretically. I think we're out of here in like Cheers. four seconds or something yeah. like that. <laughs> more about Cook and Cheap by visiting our website at cookandcheap.com. Hi, I'm Barbara Smith, host of Philly.